In this video we'll be working with worksheets in OneNote. I'm going to show you a number of different ways to work with images and PDFs to create worksheets that you can distribute to students. So at the moment we're in the teacher only space of a OneNote class notebook. And this is the best place to draft your work because in the teacher only space only teachers and co-teachers can see the work. So what I'll do is create a new page. And this will be our worksheet page. I'll call it worksheet one. And I'm now going to go to my desktop. And you'll see here I've got a number of image files that are worksheets. And we've also got one example which is a PDF file. To create a worksheet in OneNote, all we need to do is simply drag and drop the image file straight onto the OneNote page. At this point we could click on the corner and make it larger or the students can simply zoom in and out using their own zoom tools. Now if I was to interact with this worksheet, I'm now switching to the stylus, I can write all over it and use it just as I would any photocopied worksheet. However, I can't type on top of it. So for students that don't have digital inking on their devices, such as Mac users and some PC users, they can't actually work on top of this worksheet. So I'll undo what I've done so far and we'll make one really simple but very important change. Right click on the picture and set picture as background. Before we go any further, when I hover over the worksheet, there's already a large text box that sits here. And we want to get rid of that because otherwise, if I click here to type my name, you can see how the text box prevents me from typing in that space. So we're going to click on that existing text box and remove it. So with the text box gone, we can now click here with our cursor and type our name. We can click here and show our working and we can click here and show our answer. So that's our first example of this type of worksheet. I'll add another page and we'll do the same with some other examples. Once again I've dragged and dropped the file in and this time we have a character analysis. Students may be able to zoom in and if they've got digital inking they can write directly on top of the sheet. They can also mark up and highlight as they need to. But once again, there may be some students in your classes that don't have that technology available to them. So we do the same thing. We click on the image, right click, set picture as background. Then we click and delete the existing text box that would have been on the page. Now, once again, students can click anywhere, add their name, they can add the date, and they can also work inside these spaces here. And they may even add other types of responses such as audio files, videos, links to websites, and YouTube clips. Let's do this one more time. What about a PDF? Let's add a page and I've got one ready to go here. This is a spelling scrabble worksheet. PDFs are no different to images. We drag and drop them. However, this time we have the option to actually attach the file itself like it appears on the desktop or we can insert it as a printout. So this is inserting that worksheet as a printout. So it looks much the same as the other image files. However, being a PDF, you can see that it's much clearer. So at this point in time, we will right click and set the picture as a background. Even though it's a PDF, OneNote still recognizes it as a picture. So in this case, we don't actually have a text box to remove and I'm able to click anywhere on this PDF and start adding my name, the date, and I can go ahead and complete the worksheet in this space and on the right hand column as well. The next step is to distribute it to your students. So let's go into our character analysis as an example. There's two ways that we can do this. 
I prefer going through the class notebook tab and clicking distribute page and then choosing which section of the student sections I want it to go to. If I click general, every student will get a copy of this worksheet instantly and they can go straight ahead and start filling in the answers. Another way is to do it from this page section. We can right click, distribute page, and we've got the same options once again. In some cases, you might just want two or three students to receive this worksheet, so you've got the option to do so there as well. If you've got access to other teachers' notebooks, as a co-teacher, you can even send this sheet to other classes. So I'm going to send this worksheet into the general section of all my students. To do this, I simply click General. We now have a very fast progress bar, which indicates that this page has already been sent to those sections. Let's jump in and have a look. I've gone into Alex's section here. In his general tab, character analysis. We can see the sheet is in here, ready for Alex to use in his class.